We manufacture lasers that move our world. We manufacture guitars that rock our world. We manufacture fuel cells that make clean energy that powers our world. There's a great future for young people in Connecticut manufacturing. And you can prepare for it at Connecticut's community colleges. Manufacturing. It's not what you think. Imagine working in manufacturing today. Some young people not only imagine it, but they're doing it. And they're discovering a new high-tech world, from laser technology to biomanufacturing. The biomedical field is a very wide um, field. Um, my focus is more, mostly biomechanics and biodynamics. The amount of things you can do with lasers is phenomenal. Everything from cutting steel to measuring telephone poles for a rod. You can basically uh, build and design um, prototypes for orthopedics. You can also work in orthodontics area. Um, basically, you can do studies about um, uh, hip implants, knee implants. There's so many things you can do with lasers. I mean, the field is just growing and growing. This is a lot of fun. Uh, it's true that there's not a lot, I mean, especially in the past, that there's not a lot of women interested in this field. But you can see now that it's growing. Manufacturing today is not what you might think. It's clean, it's high tech, and it's growing. I see a lot of the companies that I visit and that I'm friends with getting busier finding new markets for the products that they make. The jobs are there, it's more sophisticated now. It's no longer I'm going to school to learn how to cut material or work a machine, it's how do I have to uh, work with the technology that's going to control that. Typically a computer is running the equipment and, and what we're looking for from our employees today are people that can use their brain more than they can use their hands or feet. Uh, there's very little physical work involved. Manufacturing is no longer just a man's field. Women are making a difference too. Almost anything you do in manufacturing involves a team of people. There are, these problems are, are never solved by one person in one way. It's always, you know, getting a group of people that are part of different stages of the process together. Those are really important skills that, that girls happen to, you know, have a lot of talent in uh, just naturally the way that the girls kind of, of work together. With the right education, there are plenty of opportunities for young men and women interested in today's manufacturing. I've been very impressed with the overall level of the people that are coming out of both technical high schools as well as community colleges and universities today. They, they seem to be much better prepared than um, people coming out of uh, high school or college in, in my day. Uh, for example, we've recently hired a, a number of young college graduates right out of engineering school and put them into jobs where they're making uh, immediate contributions to our business. You can begin working in a high-paying manufacturing job with an associate's degree from any of Connecticut's 12 community colleges. You can also transfer your earned credits to one of the Connecticut College of Technology's partner universities and continue your program as a junior. And if you think you aren't that good in math and science, don't let that stop you. Your local community college can help you strengthen those skills. Nowadays, manufacturing jobs are not dirty, they're not repetitive, they're cutting edge, they're clean, they're very well controlled, very well managed environments. Uh, and if you're not sure if you want to do it or not, check it out.